So now we're going to be looking at how to calculate the surface areas and volumes of simple solids and composite figures. So what's a solid? So a solid is a three-dimensional object that has both length, breadth, and height. So here, as you can see, this pyramid or prism over here has length, it has width, and it has height or thickness. So any object in three-dimensional space is referred to as a solid figure. So we have both spheres, cones, cylinders, pyramids, and cubes, all make up solid figures. So what does it mean to find the total surface area of a solid figure? So we are trying to find the sum of all the areas of the faces. And the way we do that is by summing up the area of each individual face that make up the object. So now if you consider this cube, you can see that the length, the breadth and the height of a cube are all equal. And in this case, it's given as L. So the area of any face of this cube is given as L squared. So the area of one face area of one face is equal to what is equal to l squared but now in the cube we have six faces the front and the back left and right and the top of bottom so the total surface area of a cube is given as six times l squared because we have six faces now for a rectangle we have six faces also but only the opposite faces are equal so for the face the one facing front now we have the area as length times the height. So we have what LH, which is equal to one that is back. So we have two. Then left and right, we have HW. H times W will give me the area of the left and the right side. So I have two in the bucket, H times W. Then top and bottom, I have L and W. So two times L times W will give me the area of the bottom and the top. So when I sum these faces together, I get the total surface area. So let's look at the surface area of a cylinder so when i have a cylinder if we think of a tin for example at the tin the top of the tin is made up of a circle and the bottom of the tin is made up of a circle so if i cut this part away i have this part over here and this so this is the top and the bottom so the area or the area of a circle we know is what pi r squared i know that the area of circle also is what pi r squared so now we're left with the curved area of the cylinder. Now imagine I cut it, I cut it at this portion and I extend it till I have a rectangle like this. I know that the length of this rectangle is going to be the circumference of this circle over here, which is what 2 pi r. And I know that the height of my cylinder is h. So the area of this portion over here will be my length times breadth, which is 2 pi r times h. So the total surface area will be adding all these areas together. So that will be what? Pi r squared plus 2 pi r h plus pi r squared. Pi r squared plus pi r squared give me 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. 2 pi is common into bracket r squared plus r, r. 2 pi r is common into bracket r then plus h. So this is pretty much how you find the total surface area of any solid figures. So now let's talk about the curved surface area. So for the curved surface area, we are just concerned with the area of the curved region of the solid. So now if I look at the cube, the side that make up this curve or this curve here, starting from this face, then coming over here, then come here, then going to the back and coming over here. So this region is what the curved surface area, and as I can see, it's made up of just four faces because the top and the bottom section are not included. So the cost of this area of a cube will just be four times L squared because I have just four faces. And for the cylinder now, the top and the bottom does not include the cost of this area. So only the surface area of this region over here. And I've gotten that from our previous calculations about two pi, two pi R H. So the cost of this area of a cylinder is given as two pi R H. So now here, as so now let's quickly talk about the volume of solid figures. So solid, the volume measures the amount of space inside the solid. So basically, we are saying what quantity of matter can a particular solid hold, or what is the space within it. That is what we refer to as the volume. And here we have this like an approximation of a cuboid, and here we have the length. Here we have the breadth and we have the height, and the volume is basically given as the length times the breadth times the height, 
and this is approximately a cylinder where we have radius of r so we can and we can approximate the cylinder to be the volume of a cylinder since it's result by r squared h because this is the area of the surface then times the height when you have height here which is h so these formulas below summarize the formulas for finding the curve surface area, the total surface area, and the volumes of common solid figures. So you do well to memorize them or know how they are gotten so you can figure them out in the exam. So here you have formula for calculating the volume of a cuboid, the length times the point times the height, then for the curve surface area, 2h into bracket L plus B, and the total surface area. Then for a cube, the volume is given as a times a times a, which is a cube. Then the cost of this area is 4a squared, and the total of this area is 6a squared. Then for a right cylinder, the volume is pi r squared h. The cost of this area is 2 pi r h, and the total of this area is 2 pi r into bracket h plus r. Then for a cone, our volume is given as 1 over 3 pi r squared h. The total called surface area is given as pi r l and the total surface area is given as pi r into bracket l plus r and for a sphere formula for the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cube and the cost surface area is given as this and the total surface area is given as this and for a hemisphere which is just half of a sphere this is the formula for the volume the cost surface area and total surface area so you do well to memorize these formulas so now this is a table that helps summarize the formulas for all the common solid figures that we have so make sure you memorize them so you'll be able to attempt questions so now i'll be looking at some examples on how to calculate the volume of solid figures so in this first question we're told that pyramid 70 7 centimeter i stands on the base of 12 centimeter square calculate the volume of the pyramid so the first one to do is want to sketch out a pyramid so we have a square base like this, I told that the square base is 12 cm, so the length of the base is 12 cm by 12 cm, and this is our pyramid. So now I told that the height of the pyramid is what 7 cm, so the height from the apex or the top to the floor of the pyramid is 7 cm. So we're now told to calculate the volume of the pyramid. So now you know that the volume of a pyramid is given as 1 over 3 times the base area times the height now since the base area in this case we have a square base so the base area in this case is going to be length times breadth so i have 13 times and my base area is just going to be 12 times 12 and my height is given as 7 so that give when you punch this into your calculator you have to get one to get and when you punch this you get tv tv6 and the unit is going to be cm cube because the unit of volume is in length cube and since i'm dealing with centimeter the unit is going to be centimeter cube so in this next example we are told to find the capacity in liters of a cylindrical well of radius one meter and depth 14 meter so we try to sketch that out so you have a cylindrical well like this and the radius of the well is one meter and the depth or the height or the depth of the well is what 14 meters we're not told to find the capacity in liters now the formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder is given as pi half squared times the h now i told to take pi as 22 over 7 our radius is one so we have one squared and our height or depth in this case will be 14. so we have what 22 over 7 times 14 and 7 here in 14 is 2 and 22 times 2 gives me 4 and the unit is going to be in what sorry 44 meter cube so now but the question asking to find the capacity in liters so how to convert 44 meter cube to liters now you should know that 1 meter cube is equals to 1000 liters so therefore 44 meter cube is going to be 44 times 1000 liters and what would that be and that would be equals to 44,000 liters so the capacity of the well is 44,000 liters now in this next 
example, we are told to find in terms of pi the curve surface area of a cone with circular base diameter 10 cm and height of 12 cm. So, we first want to sketch out the cone. So, we have the cone. I was told that what the base diameter is is 10 to so the distance in the diameter of the base is 10 cm and the height of the cone so the distance from the apex to the center is what is 12 cm we are not to find the cost of this here now the cost of this here of a cone is given as what the cost of this here if we check the formula is given as pi r times l where r is the radius and l is the curved length or this curved length over here but now i'm not giving the value of this curved length over here but we know that we can bring out this triangle over here and when i bring it out i'm going to quickly sketch that out. i have something like this in which this vertical line here represents the height and this length over here the cost length by giving the height to be equal to 12 and the distance from here to here is the same thing as the videos because this is from the center to the circumference of the base. And since we are giving the diameter to be 10, we know that the radius will be 10 divided by 2. So the distance from here to here is 5, while here also is 5. So here is going to be 5. So for Pythagoras theorem, I can write out that L squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared. So L squared will be equal to 144 plus 25. And L squared will be equal to 169. So here will be equal to the square root of 169. And that is 13 centimeters. So the curve of this length, curve length is 13 cm. So now I can calculate the curved surface area, which is pi. And I'm going to do also guide the answer in terms of pi. So I have it as pi. And my radius are found to be 5. And my curve length is 13. 13 times 5 gives me what? 65 pi. And the unit is going to be what? Centimeter squared. Since I'm dealing with area. So as you can see, the first thing we did was we tried to calculate the curve length by using Pythagoras theorem since we knew the height and the radius. So when we found the curve length, we just applied the formula and our, we left our answer in terms of pi because that was what was required of us to do. And we got our answer to be 65 pi centimeter cube. So let's move on to the next example. And here we are told that a cylindrical pipe made of metal is 2 centimeter thick. If the internal diameter of the pipe is 5 cm and the height of the pipe is 5 cm, find the volume of the metal using the making of the 2 cm pipe. So first, we want to try to sketch that out. So I have a pipe, and I'm not going to draw the cylindrical pipe. So we have a pipe, but the pipe is thick, so it has a specific thickness of 2 cm. So this is a pipe, as you can see. So you have this coming down. Yep. So now, when you look at this carefully, now I told that the thickness of the pipe is what is two cm. So that means at every point there is a gap of two cm between the internal space and the wall of the pipe. So you have two cm here. At any point, the thickness is what two cm, and here also will be what two cm. I told that the diameter, internal diameter of the pipe is five cm. So the diameter from here to here is what five. CM. We're not told to find the volume of metal used in making this portion, this thickness part of the pipe. And we're told that the height of the pipe is 8 cm. So what are we going to do? If you look at this carefully, to find the volume of material that is used in making this pipe, what we can do is that we can calculate the volume of this big cylinder over here and minus the volume of this smaller cylinder over here. And when we do that, what do we get? We get the volume of this remaining part which is the desired portion so to do that let's sketch that so for our big cylinder now we have something like this as you can see and what will be our diameter for that as you can see our diameter now is just going to be equal to what five plus two plus two and what is five plus two plus two that gives us nine so the radius in this case is going to be 4.5 4.5 so the radius is the diameter of our two so 4.5 so for the smaller cylinder the one inter internal so we have a smaller cylinder inside them and that we are told that the diameter of that is what is 5 
So the radius is going to be what well, five over two, which is two point five. So we'll find the volume of this cylinder. So to calculate the volume of the thickness now or the desired portion now, so the volume of the thick portion now, volume of thickness is equals to big volume, big cylinder, volume of big cylinder minus the volume of the small cylinder. So the volume of the big cylinder is going to be pi r squared h. So I'm going to have pi. In this case, I'm going to use big r to represent big cylinder h minus then the small cylinder is going to be pi and small r squared times h and the height is constant to both of them because the height is eight centimeter so my volume now is going to be equals to my pi the answer should be in terms of pi so i leave out my pi and my r in this case was 4.5 so i have 4.5 squared times and my height here is, is eight the minus pi times 2.5 squared times eight so 8 pi is common to both. So I have 8 pi into bracket 4.5 squared minus 2.5 squared. And that gives me 8 pi into bracket 4.5 squared is 20.25 and 2.5 squared is 2.25. And when I do that, what do I have? I have my V to be equal to 8 pi into bracket 20.5 minus 6.25 gives me 14. And 8 times 14 gives me 112 pi and the unit of volume is going to be in what cm cube so the volume of this material used in making the pipe is what 112 pi cm cube so let's move on to the last example and here we are told that a composite solid consists of a cone sitting on top of a cylinder so you have a cylinder like this I have told that a cone is sitting on top of the cylinder. So you have a cone sitting on top of the cylinder. So now the height of the cone is 20 cm. So we are told that the height of the cone is what 20 cm. And the height and base diameter of this cylinder are 40 cm and 30 cm respectively. So the height of the cylinder is what is 40 cm and the base diameter so the diameter of the cylinder here is or the base diameter is what 13 cm so the question now asks us to calculate to three significant figure the volume of the solid so what we will do here is because since there is no direct formula that we can use to calculate the volume of this shape however we can split this shape into two, into a cone and into a cylinder so when we do that we can now add the volume of those shapes together so for the first shape we have a cone like this and we can calculate the volume of a cone we know that the volume of a cone is given as what 1 over 3 pi r squared h and what would that be 1 over 3 times take pi as 3.14 and the radius in this case since i know that the diameter is 30 cm so the radius in this case is just going to be what 30 over 2 and that is 15 yes 15 and yes so the radius is what 15 times 15 squared and the height of the cone is given as 20. when you punch this into your calculator you get 4710 and that is cm cube now i'm going to do for the cylinder part now so for the cylinder to sketch that out so we have a cylinder like this i want to calculate the volume we know that the volume of a cylinder is given as pi r squared h now pi a total take as 3.14 and the radius of this cylinder is same as the radius of this cone and that's going to be 15 square and the height of this cylinder is given as 40. when you push this into your calculator what do you get you get your volume of cylinder to be equal to 28,260 cm cube so now we have said before that the total volume now is equal to the volume of my cone plus the volume of my cylinder and what would that be and that would be 4710 plus 28260 and what would that give me that would give me 32970 cm cube but the question asks me to write my answer to three significant figures so what i'll do is i'll look for the three first figures so i have 329 and i check the number after it's seven since 7 is greater than 5, I take it to 0 and I add 1 over here. Well, that becomes 10, so I change to 0 and I add 1 over here. So 2 becomes 3. 
so i have 33000 cm cube to take a significant figure so the volume of this shape as you have seen is equal to the sum of the volume of the cone on top and the volume of the cylinder at the bottom and when we found the respective volumes then we added them together and we got what 33000 cm cube to take a significant figure so that's all for now